Welcome back everyone to theCUBE and Horizon3.ai special presentation. I'm John Furrier, host of theCUBE. We're here with Jennifer Lee, head of channel sales at Horizon3.ai. Jennifer, welcome to theCUBE. Thanks for coming on. Great, well thank you for having me. So big news around Horizon3.ai driving channel first commitment. You guys are expanding the channel partner program to include all kinds of new rewards, incentives, training programs to help educate you know, partners to really drive more recurring revenue. Certainly cloud and cloud scale has done that. You got a great uh, product that fits into that kind of channel model, great services you can wrap around it, good stuff. So let's get into it. What are you guys doing? What are, what are you guys doing with this news? Why is this so important? Yeah, for sure. So um, yeah, we, like you said, we recently expanded our channel partner program. Um, the driving force behind it was really just um, to align our, like you said, our channel first commitment um, and creating awareness around the importance of our partner ecosystems. Um, so that's, it's really how we go to market is, is through the channel. And a great international focus. I've talked with the CEO you know, about the solution and he broke down all the action and why it's important on the product side, but why now on the go to market change? What's the, what's the why behind this big, this news on the channel? Yeah, for sure. So um, we are doing this now really to align our business strategy, which is built on the concept of enabling our partners to create a high value, high margin business on top of our platform. And so um, we offer a solution called Node Zero. It provides autonomous pen testing as a service and it allows organizations to continuously uh, verify their security posture. Um, so our, we, our company vision, we have this tagline that states that our pen testing enables organizations to see themselves through the eyes of an attacker. And um, we use the, like the attacker's perspective to identify exploitable weaknesses and vulnerabilities. So we created this partner program from a um, perspective of the partner. So the partner's perspective, and we've built it through the eyes of our partner, right? So we're prioritizing really what the partner is looking for and uh, will ensure like mutual success for us. Yeah, the partners always want to get in front of the customers and bring new stuff to them. Pen tests have traditionally been really expensive. Uh, and so bringing it down in, in one to a service level that's one affordable and has flexibility to it, allows a lot of capabilities. So I imagine people are going to get excited by it. So I have to ask you about the program. What specifically are you guys doing? Can you share any details around what it means for the partners, what they get, what's in it for them? Can you just break down some of the mechanics and mechanisms or, or details? Yeah, yep. So, um, you know, we're really looking to cre uh, create business alignment um, and like I said, establish mutual success with our partners. So we've got two, um, two, two key elements that we were really focused on um, that, that we bring to the partners. So the opportunity, the profit margin expansion is one of them and um, a way for our partners to really differentiate themselves and stay relevant in the market. So um, we've restructured our discount model, really um, you know, highlighting profitability and uh, maximizing profitability. And uh, this includes um, our deal registration. We've, we've created a deal registration program. Um, we've increased discount for partners who take part in our partner certification uh, trainings. And we've, we have some other partner incentives uh, that we, we've created that, that's going to help out there. Um, we've, we've put this all, so we've recently gone live with our partner portal. Um, it's, it's a consolidated experience for our partners uh, where they can um, access our sales tools. And um, we really view our partners as an extension of our sales and technical teams. And so we've extended all of our, our training material that we use internally we've made it available to our partners through our partner portal. Um, we've, um, I'm trying, I'm, I'm thinking now back, what, what else is in that partner portal here? Um, we've got our partner certification information. So all the content that's delivered during that training can be found in the portal. We've got deal registration, uh, um, co-branded marketing materials, uh, pipeline management. And so um, this, this portal gives our, our partners, uh, one stop place to, to go to find all that information. Um, and then just really quickly on the, the second part of that that I mentioned is our technology really is um, really disruptive to the market. So, you know, like you said, autonomous pen testing, it's um, 
it's still it's well it's still still a relatively new topic uh, for security practitioners, and um, it's proving to be really disruptive. So um, that on top of um, just well, recently we found an article that um, that mentioned by Markets and Markets that reports that the global pen testing market's really expanding, and so it's expected to grow to like two point seven billion. Um, by 2027. So the market's there, right? The market's expanding, it's growing. And so for our partners, it's just really a, allows um, them to grow their revenue um, across their customer base, expand their customer base and uh, offering this high profit margin while you know getting in early to market on this just disruptive technology. Big market, a lot of opportunities to make some money. People love to put more margin on, on those deals, especially when you can bring a great solution that everyone knows is hard to do. So I think um, that's going to provide a lot of value. Is there is there a type of partner that you guys see emerging or you aligning with? You mentioned the alignment with the partners. I can see how that the training and the incentives are all there. It sounds like it's all going well. Is there a type of partner that's resonating the most, or is there categories of partners that can take advantage of this? Yeah, absolutely. So we work with all different kinds of partners. Uh, we work with our traditional resale partners. Um, we've worked, we're working with systems integrators. We have a really strong um, MSP, MSSP program. Um, we've got consulting partners and the consulting partners, especially with the ones that offer pen test services. So we, they use us as a, as a, we act as a force multiplier, uh, just really offering them profit margin expansion um, opportunity there. Uh, we've got some technology partner partners that um, we really uh, work with for co-sell opportunities. And then we've got our cloud partners. Um, you'd mentioned that earlier. And so we are in AWS Marketplace, so our CCPO partners. Uh, we're part of the ISV Accelerate program. Um, so we, we're, we're doing a lot there with our cloud partners. And um, of course, we, uh, we go to market with uh, distribution partners as well. Got to love the uh, opportunity for more margin expansion. Every, every kind of partner wants to put more gross profit on their deals. Uh, is there a certification involved? I have to ask, is there like, do, you get, do people get certified or is it just, you get trained, is it self-paced training? Is it in person? How are you guys doing the whole training certification thing? Because is, is, is that a requirement? Or no? Yeah, absolutely. So we do offer a certification um, program and um, it's been very popular. This includes a, a, a seller's portion and an operator portion. And, and so um, this is at no cost to our partners and um, we offer it both virtually. It's, it's, live, it's virtually, but live, it's not self-paced. And we also have in-person um, you know, sessions as well. And we also can customize these to any partners that have a large group of people and we can just, we can do one in person or virtual just specifically for the, that partner. Well, any kind of incentive opportunities and marketing opportunities, everyone loves to get the, uh, get the deals just kind of rolling in leads from what we can see from our early reporting. This is, looks like a hot product price wise, uh, service level wise. What incentives do you guys uh, thinking about and, and joint marketing, you mentioned co-sell earlier in pipeline. So I was kind of kind of owning in on that piece. Sure, and yes, and then to follow along with our partner certification program, we do uh, incentivize our partners there. If they have a certain number certified, their discount increases. So that's part of it. Um, we have our deal registration program that increases discount as well. Um, and then we do have some, um, some partner incentives that are wrapped around meeting setting and um, moving, moving opportunities along to uh, proof of value. Got to love the education driving value. I have to ask you, so you do, you've been around the industry, you've seen the channel relationships out there, you've seen companies, old school, new school, you know, uh, Horizon 3.ai is kind of like that new school, very cloud specific, a lot of leverage with, well, you mentioned AWS and all the clouds. Um, why is the company so hot right now? Why did you join them and what's, why are people attracted to this company? What's the, what's the attraction? What's the vibe? What do you, what do you see? And what do you, what do you, what did you see in, in this company? Well, this is just, you know, like I said, it's very disruptive. Um, it's really in high demand right now. And, um, and, and just because, because it's new to market and uh, a newer technology. So we are, we can collaborate with uh, a manual pen tester. Um, we can, you know, we can allow our customers to run their pen test 
um, with with no specialty teams, and um, and and then so we and like you know, like I said, we can allow our our, our partners can actually build businesses, profitable businesses, so we can they can use our product to increase their services revenue and um, and and build their bo business model, you know, around around our services. What's interesting about the pen test thing is that it's very expensive and time consuming. The people who do them are very talented people that could be working on really bigger things in the in Absolutely. customers. So bringing this into the channel allows them, if you look at the price delta between a pen test and then what you guys are offering, I mean, that's a huge margin gap between street price of say today's pen test and what you guys offer. When you show people that, what the, what do they fall? Do they say too good to be true? I mean, what are some of the things that people say when you kind of show them that? Are they like scratch their head, like, "Come on, what's the what's the catch here?" Right. So the cost savings is, is a huge uh, is huge for us, um, and then also, you know, like I said, working as a force multiplier with uh, a pen testing company that offers the services, and so they can they can do their their annual manual pen tests that may be required around compliance regulations, and then we can we can act as um, the continuous uh, verification of their security, um, uh, you know, that that they can run um, weekly, and so it's just, um, you know, it, it's just an addition to to what they're offering already and and an expansion. So Jennifer, thanks for coming on the cube. Really appreciate you uh, coming on, sharing the insights on the channel. Uh, what's next? What can we expect from the channel group? What are you thinking? What's going on? Right, so we're really looking to expand our, our channel um, footprint and um, very strategically, uh, we've, got, um, we've, we've got some big plans um, for, for Horizon3.ai. Awesome, well, thanks for coming on, really appreciate it. You're watching theCUBE, the leader in high-tech enterprise coverage.